Good morning. Welcome to Pembrokeshire. And sunrise is any minute now, just over that headland, bang in the middle of that headland. But as you can tell, it's crap. <laughs> it's not gonna happen this morning, which is a massive shame, but we're still in Pembrokeshire, which is awesome, because I absolutely love the place. So yes, welcome to Dale, which is a small town, small village, small village um, in South Pembrokeshire. And more specifically, this is Watwick Bay, or Watwick Sands, I think it's Watwick Bay. Never been here before, I'd never even heard of it until yesterday, uh, when I was arranging to meet up with Ian. Ian Worth is just the other side of the rock there, doing a, doing a little, little seascape photograph. Now, Pembrokeshire is incredible. It's absolutely massive. So if you ever do come down to South Wales to photograph, uh, do some landscape photography in South Wales, you've got to check out Pembrokeshire. It's absolutely massive, it's huge. It's just beautiful because obviously you've got, these, you've got nearly 200 miles of really rugged coastlines. So it's absolutely incredible. And I think it would take something like two weeks to walk the entirety of it. It's absolutely massive. So yeah, we're gonna do a very small section of it today, which is gonna be about, about 10 miles. So we're starting in Dale, we're gonna walk around the coast and end up one of my favorite locations, which is Marlow Sands. Now I'm really excited about that because it's so charismatic. You've got these gnarly, sort of aggressive looking rocks, really charismatic rocks. I really love it. I love Pembrokeshire, it's so exciting. But I've never managed to get a decent photograph in Pembrokeshire. So today's the day, I'm so excited for that, no pressure. <laughs> but yeah, I am feeling really good because Ian's here, he's giving me a good luck charm. This is really nice. Bit of sky. Bit of sky. Not 100% on my composition, but I wasn't expecting to get anything. So just, yeah, waiting for, focus on this rock, wait for the tide to come past the rock. It's got this lovely detail around it now, actually. This actually is kicking off. So, uh, I like this rock in the foreground, kind of a diagonal, but I'm not sure if that's taking it away from the image. Maybe I should just have this one. We've got a sky. We've got a sky. Look at that. Bottom, bottom right hand corner. Oh, here's the tide now. It's going around there. Let's keep an eye on the, uh, on the histogram. The sun's come up now, so we've, uh, we've buggered it. Ah, that is a shame. Sun's come up, that's it, game over. That's a shame, because I, I, that composition was just starting to work. Super, super cool. Well, this is pretty much our, our starting point. We've not even done 200 meters from where we were for sunrise this morning. I put the name to this little lighthouse and the fort that's behind us because I can't find it. <laughs> I can't remember what it was called. I've looked on Google Earth and I can't find the name of it. But what a cool spot. I've never seen this before. And if it wasn't for meeting up with Ian down here trying to get uh, trying a little adventure in, I never would have uh, even seen this thing. So yeah, super, super cool. But yeah, we're gonna get on to the next, the next location, wherever that's gonna be. I've done a few uh, test exposures really. It's not ideal conditions at all because it's really, really bright sky. But I've done a few long exposures just to see, almost recce shots, just to see how it'll, uh, how it'll look on a nice moody, moody day. But really, really awesome little find. I'll definitely be back for this one. Anyway, I hope you like the image. <laughs> Lovely day for it. 
Well, I messed up here. I really regret not bringing a coffee, but to be honest with you, I thought the walk was going to be a lot harder. Um, across the top, we're just over halfway now at Westdale Bay. So yeah, just over halfway. We've got three hours before sunset, so we've got plenty of time to get down to uh, Marlowe's, and it's not that far from here. I'd probably guess we're about three mile away, so it's not far at all. Um, but we're just chilling out on what is a, a very, very charismatic pink bay. I've never seen anything like it. It's got all these pink and blue rocks everywhere. It's really, really interesting. But yes, I'm making, making do with a bottle of water, which is frustrating because I'd love a coffee about now. It's actually starting to get a bit cold. But yeah, it's been really, really nice. The walk has been relatively easy. Um, it hasn't been up and down, which I thought there'd be some big uh, hills and stuff to get up and down. But it's been really, really pretty much straightforward and uh, good underfoot. So yeah, it's been an enjoyable walk. Lots of pretty things to see, but not really much in the way of photographic opportunities. We've taken a few snaps, but nothing exciting. Um, hoping Marlowe's is gonna rescue us at the end of the day. Uh, interesting as well, the other side of here, you can see the other side of the peninsula just there. It's really, really crazy just to see both coasts so close to each other. So yeah, very, very interesting. And uh, this is Westdale Bay. So do check it out on Google Earth. And uh, you can see where we are. Really, really cool place. I'm looking forward to getting cracking again. because I'm going a bit cold now, <laughs> sitting still. I really wish this was a coffee. Ah. You're a gentleman. You're a gentleman. <laughs> well, this is exciting. Welcome to Marlowe Sands. It's a magical place, this. I don't know why. Even though I <laughs> never managed to get a decent photograph from this place, I do love it. It really is exciting. So much charisma, so much charm. And it's uh, this is the location I've been looking forward to most to photographing all day. So, yes, lots of pressure on myself now, but this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Lovely, lovely, charismatic rocks. Everywhere you look, you've got these beautiful charismatic rocks, absolutely gorgeous. So we did see from the, from the, up on the cliff there, a lady walking her dog. So hopefully, there aren't gonna be footprints absolutely everywhere, because <laughs> that will annoy me. But the tide is going out and it coincides perfectly with, the tide coincides perfectly with sunset. So sunset is literally five minutes either way of, uh, of low tide. So we should have perfect, pristine sands which hopefully will reflect some beautiful beautiful light and we'll get some cracking 
cracking images. Fingers crossed, this is my life sentence, and I'm excited. Isn't that just gorgeous? A diagonal there. It feels nice and exciting. It feels like something's going to happen. Are you filming? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Really, really enjoying this. Just being here is pretty much enough for me because uh, yeah, it's been a fantastic walk and what a way to end. Well, <laughs> what a location to end on. It's just stunning. And when we were walking, when we first got to the beach, it was really quite calm. And now the wind's picked up. So all the nice little pool, uh, water pools are now rippling like hell. So I wouldn't really I wouldn't really shoot anything unless it was perfectly still, because even if I use the long exposure filter, I don't really think it's going to do much. Which we might try, but this sand here is really, really nice and reflective, so I'm, I'm optimistic here. Just the problem is when you, when you get to a place like this, you're committed. Wherever you put your little feet, or your big feet, you're buggering up the sand, so you've really got to be a bit on the ball as to what you can potentially shoot. So looking from a distance, <laughs> if I can anticipate a shot from a distance before I get there. I just noticed a few more dogs over there as well. They're gonna wreck me sand, I know they are. But yes, this is exciting. And um, it's all about keeping the shots really simple, keeping the compositions really simple and uh, minimalistic. This is the ideal place for a nice minimalistic shot. Yes, let's go find one. I was really struggling to find a composition at this point and I thought well, if the sun had just come out so I wondered if I could try and get a starburst as the sun caught the side of one of the iconic Marlowe's rocks. Sadly, I don't feel like I got a decent shot coming out of Marlowe's, unfortunately. It was there until about half an hour before sunset, and it just didn't feel it very inspiring. Largely due to the wind for me, because I had an idea of a, of a shot that I wanted to take, and unfortunately, I think I restricted myself too much. Annoyingly though, there was quite a lot of B-roll footage that I thought would have made a good photograph, so if I'd just concentrated on the photography, perhaps I'd have got a better collection of images, but it was still a stunning, stunning walk. Great fun to hang out with Ian, so if you haven't already, do hit over to his um, YouTube channel and, and give him a subscribe. He's a really, really nice guy and a great photographer, and he's just moved down to South Wales as well, so jump over and say hello. Starting off Watwick Bay and walking all the way around to Marlow Sands was quite an easy walk, actually. It was 10 and a half mile in total, but we actually found the path to be really, really quite easy underfoot. There was no real difficulty navigating around. The path was, was easy to follow, and it was just so beautiful. We've just seen so many different beaches. We love the geology and the different rocks around the coast as well, and it was just really, really nice and relaxing. So yeah, definitely hit the subscribe button because part two, I'll be starting off at Marlow's, Marlow's Sands for sunrise and then seeing how, what we can get up to in another 10, 10 or so miles walking along the coast. Uh, 186 miles in total, the Pembrokeshire coast, so it's, uh, it's going to take us a few attempts, <laughs> but hopefully that'll, uh, that'll keep us going for a couple of years. But do subscribe, I hope you enjoyed the video. As I said, do check out Ian Worth on YouTube and Instagram as well, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.